What? Are you really in? Everything looks right. <laughs> I'm still waiting for battle shifts to come out. I remember hearing something about that. I don't remember what it was, though. In fact, there's a beta, but you'd had to have been in on the Kickstarter. But it's coming supposedly the end of this year, maybe. And what was it again? Battle Chefs. Yeah. What was the concept? Um, you are a chef. You're in a cooking competition, and you go and kill mystical fantasy beasts and make them into dishes. Oh, that's right. It kind of always reminded me of uh, Fantasy Life. But they made it where you don't have to play as the girl. You can also play as the big, ugly orc dude. I'm like, yay! My people. My peoples. I always play as a dwarf. My people. <laughs> I was watching uh, The Hobbit at work today. Yeah, it must have been a hard day of work. Oh, yeah. It's great. Some days I get paid to watch TV. The patient goes to sleep and then I just watch the TV. <laughs> Well, let's go and do this. <laughs> Nobody will suspect a thing. This definitely doesn't have our van parked right underneath the building. Of course not. <laughs> it's oh, not a shady van. It doesn't have free candy on the side. No, but it is... Like a flame van. Boing. Oh, nope, they saw me get in there. All that matters, doesn't matter how many pe how many guards you grab, as long as you make it to where the uh, uh, mission start is. Ow! What the fuck? There's spikes on the ground. Spikes on the ground, spikes on the ground. Looking like an idiot when running over spikes on the ground. Yeah, I made it.
here's the funny thing. Like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious. The knees have been slapped. Uh, I won something for a penny. That's how much it will cost because I made the person who was over the uh, vape juice place laugh. I don't have one penny to even pay it. You need a penny? <laughs> Not online. I have money here, but it's like I was getting ready to put it. Uh, Freaking Strave's like, hey guys, someone PayPal me a penny. <laughs> Plays. I I I think. Can you even do that? I, I don't know. Pretty sure you can. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know about a penny. I don't, I don't work in that department. Not my circus, not my monkeys. That's what I say. All the circuses, all the monkeys. Uh, I know what the final boss in this game is going to be now, or in this mission. It's going to be Murray. That's not me! What? The breathing? That's not me! <laughs> what? Huh? I think Ted Bundy's dead, Mom. Bundy? Yeah, I think he's dead. I don't know. I should know. Uh, that's a random thing for my mother to ask me. She's like, whatever happened to Ted Bundy? I'm like, I don't know. Ate someone. He got the munchies and ate the wrong person. He died in January 24th of 1989, mother. Wait, was it Bundy who ate people? No, that was Dahmer. That's right. Bundy was the guy that strangled, uh, women. Was he the Hillside Strangler? No, he was... The, I don't, don't want to say Boston he was, Strangler. He was... Yeah, he was a Boston. rapist, serial killer, necrophile, and pedophile. Look it up. He died in the electric chair, mother. Yes, in Florida. The more you know. do 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 Quit feeding you food from Hardee's because you start asking me questions about serial killers. Nothing wrong with that. I would yeah. have no... I, I would have no, like, 
knowledge of serial killers if my mother hadn't told me so much about him when I was a child. Uh, he had 30 plus victims. Oh shit, I keep falling in the water. Isn't there a movie about him? I think it's called Boston Strangler, probably. Yeah, I don't think he was the Boston Strangler, that was someone else, but he was a... Uh, Boston Strangler... Albert... Del Savo. Like Ted Bundy's thing was, he was kind of a handsome gentleman. So he would seduce the women, then strangle them. Mm -hmm. And the guy from friggin' uh, Corn, John the Weirdo Davis, uh, bought his bug, and then whenever they said they had to get it back, he pitched a little fit. I'm like, why would you even want that? <laughs> Some people really like serial killer memorabilia. Yeah. Where the devil? It's over there, okay. Train! Oh shit. I dodged the train. It almost got me, but it didn't quite get me. door to hack. You're fucking kidding me. Hit by a train and went flying. Up oh, there, I go again. <laughs> Can you give me tea? First game of Frogger ever. <laughs> I'm a fucking turtle running on the train tracks. What do they expect to have happen? Death. Gripping gameplay. Exciting so, thrills. Hot train on turtle action. <laughs> Actually, I actually wouldn't mind watching a uh, turtle get hit by a train. An actual turtle? Yeah. That'd be really what? sad. What's wrong with you? You're a fucked up individual. Thank you. You need therapy. Do I? Do I really, yeah. Sean? Yeah. I don't know. I should know. I work with crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Do you? 
also, I am crazy, so I mean. Yeah. Who's watching the Watchmen? Who's watching nobody. the Watchmen? And nobody. It was a horrible movie. It's god awful. Too much dick. <laughs> no, it was not enough dick. No, it was way too much dick. Too much blue I dick. I don't know. I never saw it. Oh, don't watch it. There's too much blue penis. Kind of like the comic. The comic had less dick in it than this fucking show did. Watchmen. Oh. So, my mom wanted me to come over again today. Did she? Yeah. Uh. Because she gave me 200 Reese's. Did she count them first? I, I'm only guesstimating them. Reese's diabetes. Is she trying to kill you? No, she, she kept some. Oh. Uh -huh. Apparently they have adopted dumpster diving. So they're dumpster Reese's. <laughs> no. Uh, CVS in Morganton, uh, the stuff they just, when their sales are down on something, they'll, uh, the stuff they can, they take as a loss, they put out beside the dumpster, and whoever gets there gets to take it. So, so they they're, so they're dumpster Reese's. No, they were never in a dumpster. Until they go in your mouth. Whoa! Zing! Shelby! Ha. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I got a bunch of Reese's. I want them. Uh, some York peppermint patties and Ooh. some Snickers. And some granola bars. We'll get a blender, we'll get some ice cream, we'll make some confections. Oh, be oh yeah. I also have, uh... Milano cookies that are mint chocolate chip. Nope. Ooh. Some gluten-free brownies. Yeah, that's what I forgot to buy today. I forgot to buy ice cream sandwiches. Son of a bitch. Why would you want to buy an ice cream sandwich? Because they don't give them to you for free anywhere. I love ice cream sandwiches. I, I, can't, I don't like them. What am I, what am I shoot, what am I trying to shoot down? Yourself. I would assume those birds. You know, some of them are counting, some of them aren't, so I'm not sure. Okay, they all count. It just takes more than one hit to kill them. It's breaking into a government facility right now with a remote control helicopter. This is exactly what they warned us about with those drones. In drone. They predicted the future. <laughs> Back in 2000, whatever, when this game launched on PS2. You know the uh, the military facilities have a new. Uh, a new countermeasure for drones. Is it called a shotgun? Well, no, here's the thing. It is a basically a drone disruptor. There are three ways it takes down a drone. It will just hijack the signal and after that you just point it down <laughs> Uh, crash it. And you, you guide it down and it lands. Or uh, you do it if it has any type of weaponry or anything dangerous on it. They can, uh, it shoots a pulse that basically, basically an EMP directional gun, pretty much. Uh -huh. And uh, if that doesn't work, and they got a net gun. <laughs> if we don't succeed in the normal ways, or the new fancy awesome ways, we got a net gun. And it kind of bolos out like a bolo, and then opens up 
and catches the propellers and drops to the ground like a rock. But I thought it was pretty cool because it was able to take it down without uh, breaking it. Because well, that's I've... the last thing we want is to break the. Uh, the well, thing. here's the thing: I've flown some drones, and they can get away from you. And if you're staying in one spot and don't know, like there are some technical military facilities that you don't know about. I mean, like right down the road from me is the uh, Morienton Armory. Yeah. So if I'm, like, in a house behind there, and I don't know that the armory's on the other side, I mean, it's like, okay, you're in a no-fly zone. We're just going to shoot down your $1,000 drone. Yeah, you're in a no-fly zone. You should have looked up the, the stuff before you did it. Well. Yeah, but that's not because they're cool people. That's because they want to get the information off the drone. Yeah. No, and I'm just imagining... You fly, you're right next to the armor, you fly your drone up in the air, and all of a sudden it just starts coming down slowly. I'm just picturing a giant Uncle Sam just with his finger on top of it going, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no. But you live in Morganton, and that's close enough to, like, that's within North Carolina, so they'll probably just shoot it with a shotgun. Around here. Oh, yeah. I, I, I gotta get that, them dang terrorists. <laughs> I would not get a white drone. Mine would definitely be black or camouflage. I've got a What's friend that who's that camouflage going? thing flowing through there? Just get, dress it up like a giant mosquito. Yeah. I would dress mine up like a... Just duct tape an American flag to the sides of it. Oh, that's one of ours. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it stop us. <laughs> But I, lo I love drones. They need to be a little more regulated than they are. Not really, because if you think about it, nothing's really happened. Well, I'm talking about the, the bigger ones that go a lot long. No one can afford them, so there's really no reason to. Oh, but the people that afford them shouldn't be flying them. Potentially. They're also the same ones that buy snuff films. So, there's that. True statement. But, uh, uh, like, 90% of drones are, like, have a half-hour runtime, if that. Uh, well, my friend had, like, six hours. Does it have a camera on it and everything? Yeah. Oh. Camera's got its own battery. Ah. Yep. Yeah, I would love a drone. Yeah, his was pretty cool. He was flying around his living room. He kept crashing into things. I was like, just go slow. Just, It's like using the D-pad on a, on a controller or the thumbsticks. Just slowly go forward. But it was easier because it wasn't like there was they weren't spring-loaded, so they didn't go back to neutral. I found one that's... Well, the red one did. Uh, one it's did. no bigger. Like, it'll fit in the palm of your hand. And uh, it's got 1080p camera on it's not a great lens or anything. Like, you're not getting great shots with it, but it would be nice just to fiddle around with. Plus, it shoots camera footage straight in front of it. But when you're just doing little aerial shots of it. True. I want to know what kind of prison lets these people just walk around with all their armor on, with all their shit on. Like, Sly was walking around with his fucking Alcatraz. He had his uh, cane still. Like, what the hell? People not learn? So, how many decks do you have? One, two, six. You got six deck decks? Yeah, I got two here and at least four at work. Not sure how many of these guys I'm supposed to kill. All of them. Murder 50. them. All. 
I'm at 30. I feel like that big number on the side of the thing will kill you. Yeah, but that's the big number that's going up. Oh, it's not going down. <laughs> yeah, it's going up every time I kill someone. Yeah, I would guess 50, though. That's a good number. Plus, it's one of those... No, you're past 25 now. Fifty. Good call, Flack. Well, they said fifty in the. Oh, did they? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah. I love these pictures. That uh, have you followed Tech Deck on Instagram? Yeah. The picture of uh, Stormtrooper action figures, Tech Decks. Mm-hmm. Instagram or Tech Deck has a thing. If you uh, find a Walmart that doesn't carry them, you let them know you. Get free shit. I'm assuming the Walmart grocery store. Yeah, they don't count. Because they advertise on there available at all, and then they show like Target, Toys R Us, Walmart. Yeah, I want to go to Toys R Us. But... Yeah, they got some really nice stuff. They had a. Uh, there's a set out for the. SL whatever, the skateboarding league or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. And uh, there's one of them which is just like a fun box with uh, a ledge, a rail, two ramps, and a couple other things. Yeah. I really wanted that set, but I couldn't find it. So I ended up just getting just a regular ledge, a bike rack, um, and the other stuff. I like it. And then I got my, my stairs over here. During, uh, on the 23rd of December, I get my, uh, two weeks, uh, my week paid vacation. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm just taking the money since I took off for the wedding. Mm hmm And I think that's what I'm going to use to finally put together Escape. Okay. Oh, the, uh, Christmas, uh, money? Yeah. Nice. I have no idea what I'm doing. I should have been paying attention. Yep, job failed. You done fucked up. No, no idea what I was doing. Oh. I'll be back. That right. So I see what I'm supposed to do now. Yeah, that's good. Holy shit, they're out of stock. On um, Tech Decks. Yeah, Tech Deck? And, uh, Toys R Us. The one in, what Toys R Us? The one in Hickory? Just the website. Go to their, uh, just go to the one in Hickory, it's got some.
Run, Bentley, run! He won't be able to do that long. Hurry up, Bentley, fucking turtle. I wonder why they decided... I don't know. Yeah, the tech deck promotes the SLS a lot. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah, they got some nice sets with the uh, SLS. Yeah. I just really like skating ledges, so that's just what I like doing. I feel like this is a horrible plan. Probably is. See, I was always a street skate. No, you can do ledges in the street. Yeah, but I never was able to find any fucking ledges that were worth skating when I was skateboarding. True. So. Yeah, the, when you look at the uh, box, uh, flip it over on the back, it will have uh, uh, a blue dot is common, a yellow dot is rare, and a red dot is ultra. Hmm. Yeah. So the one I got to the ultra. Not that I, that means anything. Makes so. <sighs> no! God, they make some really nice tech. One of them. I've got a set that I have no clue who any of the skaters are, but it had a shark board, which was cool, and a rooster board, oh, yeah. so that was also kind of cool. Stop planting fucking bombs. These statues keep respawning. That's a bitch. You remember that movie Grind? Nope. No? Nope. Had Bam Mar Jared and uh, the guys want to start professionally skateboarding. Mm -hmm. And one of the guys, it starts out with him looking at decks at a skate shop. And he's asking the guy to front him a deck. And the guy's like, no. And then Bam comes in and he's like a total douche. Because he just grabs like four decks and leaves. And the guy's like, hey, can you give me a deck? Bam's like, nope. <laughs> One of the guys uh, that's in the group that they end up, they end up going to follow this skate league mm -hmm. and uh, try to get into the group. Uh, so they're following him. And one of the guys is broke his arm before like the summer vacation. Yeah. And uh, he's in the garage, and he just 
he's slathering butter inside the cast and slips his arm out. I remember seeing that scene at some point. I don't remember where or why. It's a good one. I didn't know they made Tech Deck Penny Board. Yeah. Yep. I may have to pick up one of those. Oh, yeah, I found the one I want. I assume this is where I'm supposed to go, is over here. I have no clue. God, it'd be so cool if I called up Dad and he knew exactly what I had all that. That would be pretty cool. Because I had a whole... I had that black case that held them. Mm -hmm. That was clear in the front and had the handle, and but you could hang it up on the wall. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eventually have to go over there here in a couple anyway, so if nothing else, I can go over there and we can just look in his garage. I will definitely let you know if I find him. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I still really want to get a uh, an original Tech Deck handboard. I had a couple. I didn't <coughs> much care for them. They were more as well. I've got that knockoff one. I mean, it works, but the originals are just more hardy and just felt sturdier. Oh yeah, the new tech decks feel a lot sturdy. I can feel that they've got that metal running through the center. I don't think they do have metal running through them. It feels like it. I mean, it's just a thicker plastic, and they're also wider than the old ones completely possible. I feel like Bentley should just cut his losses. He's got one of two friends back. That's over 50%. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's, he rescued the main character. What, what more do you want? Justice. Justice. Set off the alarms.
Nope, I did. Yay! Uh, okay, I gotta steal the guard's keys. Everyone came running when this alarm went off. They don't get paid enough. Really not. Cyprin, how's it going? Oh my god, he's in the chat. Is Tony Hawk doing anything? He still does stuff. He makes like guest appearances and shit. Oh, son of a bitch. So close. Did you ever see the, uh, there was a show on, I would say, probably Discovery Channel, where there was this team of people that had to, uh, find out where this guy, who this guy was. So they had a video clip of a guy from the back walking through a house in what looked to be California. And they had, a bunch of them were like detectives. One was uh, a coroner and everything. And they were supposed to do like this CSI style find out who the fuck this person is. And so they uh, tried to find out who this person was. Mm -hmm. And they had like medical records. That one's stupid. Had uh, that video. They had his like work schedule nothing too like revealing but they ended up it ended up being Tony Hawk hmm yeah but they were going through because they were going through the medical record looking at like oh he's had a lot of ear infections so uh he was looking they were looking into that they they was like, okay, one leg is predominantly more muscular than the other. He must have broken his leg recently. Well, they were thinking, okay, he he lives in an exotic-looking place. Maybe he surfs. 
and they were looking looking at his like work schedule thing. They're like, well, obviously he does well for himself. They found a painting in his house in the house video mm -hmm. that was like, okay, this painting can only be uh, this uh, painter. Hmm. It was really interesting how they went about the whole. They couldn't have just like looked at him and been like, "Oh, that's Tony Hawk." I I think about <coughs> maybe ten minutes into the forty minute special, I was like, "It's Tony Hawk," because <laughs> they were just they were going over things. I was like, I kind of recognize the back of them, and they're like, "Well, one leg's bigger than the other," and I was like, "It's it's Tony Hawk." He's got a house in California. But it was like people that fucking have no idea who Hawk is, so. Yeah, still. It was a good show. I enjoyed it. Yeah. He's a good guy. Oh, yeah. This is another company I had a lot to check. World Industry. Oh, uh, yeah. One of the uh, the old tech tech I have is uh, World Industry tech tech. So, on the tech tech website, you can add to your collection. And uh, I have 27. And I haven't went through all. But what I'm wondering... Is can I? Nope, I did. I guess I can't. It sucks. <laughs> it's a good idea, Sid. Stop. Stop dying. I'm trying not to. Sip talking about Tony Hawk dying makes me have all this now. He's not that old, considering. Like, he's not like an ancient person or anything. He's... He'll be around for a while longer. He is 49. Yeah, so he's got plenty of time. Yeah. You get the kick rode clip the, in yet? Rode the first hoverboard. Yeah. Yeah, I got kick flipped down. The thing I'm not great at is landing tricks onto like ledges and shit and grinding and the control isn't there yet. Like, but that pop shove it. I got that down. Double shove, triple shove, quad shove. <laughs> it's in the bank. Big spin. Nolly shove. More keys. Yeah, I gotta set off this alarm. Anyway, I'm gonna hop off. Okay. I will talk to you. Uh, come on, right?
Uh, yeah, tomorrow's uh, Monday. Okay. I will talk to you later. Right, see ya. And then there's just me. We did it. We got all the codes. Yay! Yeah, it's like a Rockstar game. I have to go to the other side of the goddamn map. I can make this jump. Maybe not. Oh, those guys can't catch me there anyway, so that was fine. roof. <laughs> Fast travel. God, I wish Zip. I wish Rockstar knew how to make a good fast travel, too. to do for this mission, jeez. Look at the weirdest conga line.
There we go, Hunter down. No oh, shit. That's a good spot. Ideally, it would actually probably be better to kill that the f one that's in first place right after killing the one in last place. I should have smoke bombed and ran away. This is actually working really, really swimmingly. Just three. Okay. Did 
Damn spotlight ruined my plan. We did it. She looked right at me and didn't even see us. Any more? You know what? I think we're going to save that for the next one. Ah, this has been fun, but thank you everyone for showing up. It was a good time. Uh, I'm going to end it here again. We got a stretching sleepy kitty here in my lap. He's so cute. Look at him. And we got our blue boy here. We're going to say hi to the blue boy. And uh, the blue boy should be streaming tomorrow. I'll be streaming again tomorrow too. Probably more of this. But yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one.